Hello everyone, uh, my name is Arun Rajkumar and I am an instructor for the Foundations of Machine Learning Theory course. Today uh, we are going to look at uh, Introduction to Optimization. In intro to Optimization. So what is optimization and why do we care about optimization in a machine learning context, right? So according to me, there are three pillars of uh, machine learning, rather so, so to say the three foundational pillars of machine learning. I'm going to call these pillars uh, P1, P2 and P3 and uh, what are these pillars, right? So what are the mathematical pillars on which the theory of machine learning rests? So these pillars are linear algebra, probability and optimization. And the focus of my topic would be to look at the introduction to optimization. Now why do I call these three mathematical areas as the pillars of uh, machine learning? For the simple reason that uh, any machine learning problem to understand in detail you would need some amount of understanding of each of these three pillars. So let's take a simple example um, and try to understand the following, right? So let's say you have a data set where let's say you are capturing the height and weight of uh, people in a room and height and weight, let's say height is in centimeters and weight is in uh, kilograms and now, if I plot this in a two-dimensional plane, you're going to get points like this, right? So, where each point represents one particular person. Now, the question is, if there is a new person who enters this room, and let's say I know the height of this person, let's say the height was somewhere here. Now, if I want to predict the weight of this person, how would I go about doing this? Now, of course, uh, we are not going to look at the algorithm or anything of that sort in this course. But let's try to understand what are the fundamental, you know, building blocks of this problem. Well, by looking at this graph, one might be tempted to say that there is some relation between the height and the weight, right? And in particular, this relation seems to be a linear relation. What does that mean? Well, if the height increases, the weight also seems to <coughs> increase overall on an average. And if the height decreases, so does the weight. And it increases in a proportional way. And so uh, we are going to call this a linear relation. Now, of course, uh, once you have found out what this linear relation is or what is the line uh, that kind of best represents the height-weight relation between people in a room, then given the height of a person, it's, it's going to be very easy to predict the weight. You just find the value that, <coughs> or value corresponding to that height on this particular line. Now this seems simple, uh, but there are a lot of things that have gone in the background uh, to come, to arrive at this particular solution. The first thing that we assumed here was that the height and weight are linearly related. Right? So there is a linear relationship between the parameters of interest and to understand linear relationship between data, one resorts to mathematical foundational ideas in linear algebra. Right? So this is to understand the structure or relationship between data. So why linear? Why can't uh, relationship between data be non-linear? Of course, they can be non-linear as well. Um, and uh, but the simplest structural relationship between data is a linear relationship. And uh, it turns out that once you understand the linear relationship very well, in a lot of cases, you may also be able to understand the non-linear relationship model and understand the non-linear relationship very well as well. Right? So the linear algebra part comes because we want to understand the structure in data very well. Of course, again, let's look at the same example. Now we, we observe that, well, there is a linear relationship between weight and height, agreed, but then it does not really mean that for every point in the data set, which means that for every person whose weight and height we have 
captured, the weight and height exactly falls on a single line, right? So, for instance, if it was the case that all the weight and height points fell on the same line, this point here should actually have been here, right? None of the points, in fact, in this particular data set fall on the line that I have drawn, yet we believe that, well, this is a linear relationship. Now, what does this mean, right? It means that overall, there is a linear structure in the data and everything else that is not, you know, uh, pertaining to this linear relationship, we are going to think of that as some kind of noise, right? So, in this particular case, this extra bits are not so significant that they can be considered as noise in the data. Now, these noise could arise from different sources because of measurement error, because of uh, uh, incorrect measurements, because of uh, missing measurements and, and so on and so forth, right? So, in some way, you not only have to understand the structure in data, but it is also important to understand and model noise or what I will call as uncertainty in data, right? So, we want to model noise or uncertainty in data. And the mathematical you know, way to deal with uh, uncertainty or noise in data is of course, the language of probability. Well, all, all, all is good so far. So, we have somehow understood how to deal with structure using the language of linear algebra and how to deal with noise using the language of probability. Now, where does optimization come into picture, right? So, why should I care about optimization? It seems that, well, if you know the structure, if you can model the uncertainty, things are over. Well, not quite, right? Um, to give an example, for the same data set, which we think has a linear relationship between height and weight, and let us say we have somehow modeled the uncertainty in data as well, well, there is no single way to describe linear relationship between height and weight. In other words, there is not a single line, right? So, there can be infinite possibilities for lines which relate the height and weight, right? So, this is line 1, this is line 2, this is line 3 and so on, right? So, you can choose your favorite line and that can maybe, is, of course, it relates the height and weight. But the question is, is this the line that really relates the height and weight in the data that I actually observe? Right? So, which means that among several possibilities, several possible way of structurally relating the input and output, I care about that way which in some sense best relates the input to the output in this particular example or in general best represents the relationship between the data points. Now, when the moment you have a notion of best, right? so you want to understand what is the best way to do certain things? Well, that is where <coughs> you need to come into the uh, world of optimization, right? So, basically, you have a bunch of lines, infinite possibility of lines, and then among those infinite lines, you are picking one line and saying that, hey, this is the line that really, I think, represents the relation between height and weight in this data, right? And how do I decide on this line? Well, basically, that is where the notion of optimization comes into picture. Basically, optimization is the mathematical <coughs> uh, tool that allows us to convert data to decisions, right? Of course, you need structure, you need to model the structure, of course, you need to model the noise or you need to handle uncertainty in one way or other, but more than that, you need to finally convert your data to decisions and, sorry about that, you, you need to convert data to decisions and <coughs> the mathematical way to do that is using the language of optimization. So, with these three pillars, then we can build, you know, the palace of machine learning on top of this, so to say, right? So, today's goal and the following few lectures goal is going to understand uh, the ideas behind optimization from a very basic point of view. Uh, we will not really go into the depths of optimization. It is a rich theory in itself uh, with um, research done as we speak, uh, but what we are going to understand here is are, are some kind of basic ideas of optimization uh, which will help us navigate through this uh, world of machine learning and data science. Okay, so with that intro, we will get started. <coughs>